Uh, great, we're back at the entrance. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anna520, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we made it here to the Gerudo Desert. And after a bit of, um, story from Midna, we ventured off into the desert, and we opened up the gateway to the, uh, trial dungeon. But, in the process of doing that, we, um, good grief, we also fixed the Bridge of Elden. So now that's a whole thing. Go away. Getting in my way. These stupid graboid things, I hate them so much. Ha ha! Down the hole you go. Anyway, in this episode, we are going to go over here and finish what we started. Now, the funny thing about this game is that when you're actually doing this section of the game, the knight actually helps you because it's actually harder for the uh, bulblins to see you. And I need to grab out my... this. It's harder for the Bulblins to see you when you're in the dark. So that's a whole thing. Anyway, we're gonna come up here real quick, and you probably can tell there's a Poe over there. Most Poes in this game only show up at night. So, um... Yeah, if you're going Poe hunting... You're definitely going to want to do it at night. Grab this guy here real quick. And I remember we went down into the the um that hole there uh, when we showed up here. And uh, the reason we did that was to grab what was it two or three other pose. Can I talk to these? They don't want to talk. Alright, fair enough. Not very talkative. So we're gonna... Come over here, and... Charge! Into the wall. Knock the boar out. Sorry, boar. Climb up here. I believe there's a treasure chest over here. Yes. What do we got in here? We've got arrows. Okay. Those will be useful in the coming section. Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. We meet again. At last, the skills I have to teach you have entered the realm of true secrecy. They are forgotten ways that do not leave our bloodline. Among the techniques I shall be teaching you are some that may even endanger you. Do you feel ready to learn these skills? I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure that you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the Helm Splitter. Now then, come at me. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My fifth hidden skill is... The Mortal Draw. Let it be hewn into your mind. This one's dangerous. The ways of the sword are known to many creatures, and some have strengthened their guards against shield attacks and backslices. Should you encounter such a foe, the Mortal Draw that I am about to teach you is most effective. You must sheath your sword and cast aside the most basic of sword skills, the Z-Target. You must wait until your foe is upon you. 
Then before the enemy can quickly can see through your ruse, you must quickly draw your blade with A. There is no defense for this. The mortal draw deals death. Very well. Now try it. Like that. Hmm, that was a pointed strike. But do not forget that this technique leaves your life at risk. The fifth hidden skill, the mortal draw, has been passed on. You learn the fifth hidden skill, the mortal draw, sheath your blade and await your foe without ZL targeting, and strike. There are still two hidden skills for you to learn. Do not... Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the time you come to learn the next. May we meet again. So I don't think we have any more... Um... Wolves on the map. Let me make sure. No. 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 Uh, I think these... I think these symbols right here represent a minigame. So you've got the minigame here for Plum. You've got the minigame here for... Um, what is this minigame? This is uh, Flight by Foul. And this is also Plum. There's two spots where you can do that. And then there's also these other ones. Um, one of these is the Poe hunting thing. One of This one is the Star game. This is the bugs. I think this is the... What is it called? It's the fortune teller. And then up here is also... Uh, you can actually do plumb backwards. Anyway, um... Yeah, I don't see any wolves on the map. Yeah. But we still have one area left to explore, and that's up here. And the only way to get there is through this spot right here, which we can't access right now. So anyway, onward we go. There's another Poe there. I think there's a total of, if memory serves me, there's a total of, oh goodness. There's a total of 60 Poes in the game. You only need 20 for the first reward. Um. But if you get all 60, you get a better reward. Hard. Get out of here, little stupid weavers. Dig that spot. Whoop. Heart. Okay, let's get out of here before more of these guys show up. This way. So, this is the Bulblin camp. I think, actually, there is a way to get. Yoink! There's an item you can get. I don't know if I can actually get it yet. I think I can. But it's important that you take out these sniper guys. Because they will uh, raise the alarm. If they see you. And this is why it's good to um, do this at night. Because the sniper guys actually have less of a view during the night. They can't see as far. And also, the ground bulblins are asleep. But if one of these guys sees you, he will sound the alarm, and uh, then a wave of dudes will show up. Oop, there's one. And you don't want to have to deal with waves of dudes. 
I think like no, there's one more sniper guy I can see over there. Let's see if I can hit him from here. Right about there. Got him. All right, that's all the sniper guys, I think. This guy here, take care of him. This is like the the forced stealth part of the game. Because otherwise, if you just go running in Rambo style, you're going to end up fighting a whole lot more enemies than you really want to. I think it's all of them. Oops. Shot the wall. Nope, oh, there's a guy there. Is that all of them? That is all of them. Grab this guy. Because he's got the key. And we just blew up the meat. And inside the meat was a piece of heart. I think I mortal drawed the meat. <laughs> they were roasting a boar, and I think I just mortal drawed it. Yeah, 50 rupees. Nice. Uh, this... We haven't encountered it yet. But there's a really really stupid mechanic in this game. I don't know if it's in the remake. I don't think it is. But in the original, if you opened a chest and your wallet couldn't hold the money that was inside, um, the, uh, the rupees would, um, that looks like a throne. The, uh, the rupees, they would say, uh, but you can't carry it, so let's put it back. Um, the door closed. It is very dark in here. Oh, there's a boar. Let's go grab the boar. Because then we can bust through the gates and stuff. Um. Oh, it's King Bublin. Oh! What the? Bruh! Okay, let's try the mortal draw on this guy. Ow. I think that axe is a little heavy for you, buddy. Ow. That actually really, really hurts. I have a fairy, but let's, um... Let's get some hearts back, how about it? There we go. Mortal Draw works really well on him, actually. I've never actually used the Mortal Draw like that. He's still alive, though. Hurt his shoulder. <laughs> Gives me a look. Grunts and, uh... Limps away to, uh, nurse his wounds, I guess. Uh, and then he sets the freaking building on fire. How's the stone burning, I wonder? Oh, the boar's up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Get on the board. Come on. Come on, board. Well, thank goodness that's a cutscene. Because I would have hit that wall if I hadn't done that. Okay, and now we've arrived. This was our destination. Good boy. Now then. Right off the bat, we've got another Poe. Hello, Poe. 
Your soul is mine. Back to human. Let's come over here real quick. Grab our lantern. Like that. Like that. Spawn a chest. Front and open the chest to get... What's inside? 50 rupees. Okay. Anything else down here? Anything I need to be sensing down here, maybe? Can I talk to you now? Nope. Four does not want to talk. Make sure there's no dig spots down here. Nope, just levers. How about over here? Anything over here? I think I saw a sparkle for a split second. Nope, just more levers. A lot of levers. Oh boy. Let's get out of here. Okay. Nothing to dig here. Okay, back to human. I guess in we go. Dungeon number four. My sinkhole. All right. Welcome to the Arbiter's Grounds. This dungeon is full of sand because of the, uh... I don't think you'll ever, like, sink all the way down. Oh, maybe you will. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. You will sink. And you will lose hearts for sinking. How do I go? Where do I go? Where do I... Oh. How about over here? Grab this. Wait, is there something on the ceiling? Oh, there's something on the wall. There. No! Get out of here. Be gone. Okay. Actually, give me that. Okay. Now that. That. Lock onto that. Into the... Is that at a grapple point? What the? Get out of here. Get in the sand. Get in the dirt. Up over here. Up over here. Eventually we'll start seeing... I think this is going to be one of them. Yeah, that platform will start sinking into the sand. If you step on it. And we can... Roll over here to get through here. Roll over here. Well... You gotta make sure you roll before you hit get the thing. What the? Get out of here! This is a little dude. Get out of the sand. All right, so we got a lever over here, or not a lever, but a lever, or a a pull chain. But if we try to pull it out of the sand, we're going to sink. So what we have to do is use this to pull it out onto the ground and, uh... <clears throat> Stop poking me. Stop poking me. Get out of here. All right, grab this. Pull this. There we go. Open the door. Walk through the sand. Climb out here and find ourselves a locked door. Well, good thing there's a chest over here. Roll through the sand here. Grab this. What's in here? It's our key. Okay. Cool. Key. Um. Bugs? Okay, the bugs don't like the light, but if you don't have your light out, um, if anybody's seen the, mu uh, the mummy, uh, those are scarabs. Oh, 
Also, you'll find the, this, these sorts of things periodically. Um, this is an oil uh, container. So we can scoop here, put some lamp oil in our bottle, just in case we need it, because we're going to need it a lot in this dungeon to prevent ourselves from getting creeped on by bugs. Especially in this room. You are likely to be eaten by a Gru. Oh, hello, boys! Stop poking me. These tiny guys will be showing up a lot in this dungeon. I don't know if they infinitely spawn, but they're certainly a pain in the butt. Oh, there's a bunch more. Light all the torches in this room, open the door. Ow. Stop poking me. Okay, that's all of them. I think they respawn, but I'm not sure. Anyway. Open the door. And this is going to be our main room. You may notice the four torches. We've played Ocarina of Time before. This is the main door. And from this main door come four lanterns. And these lanterns will steal the flames. And without the flames, The door closes. And so these Poes taunt us and then fly off. But one remains. Now, here's the thing. Uh, <clears throat> so first of all, let's um, let's deal with this Poe. Oh, that's not a normal Poe. What the heck? What are you? These Poes are only able to be attacked when they're glowing blue. There are only four of these. Come to think of it, technically there's only five Poes that you have to actually collect in this game. The one in uh, the guy's house, I think his name's Giovanni. And these four. These are the only four that you have to collect. But without the Poe, the flame comes back and lights up the torch. And we can also sniff this pose uh, rags. Forget the scent of Ilya and learn a new smell. Do I have to? All right. We can now track pose through the walls. And we see where each one went. But this room has a bit of a glitch to it. So in the original Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And I don't know if they fixed this in this game or not. Oh, hello. But, um, Link's animation of holding something out was actually missing a frame. And every time he would hold an item out, he would slowly move backwards. So... Utilizing uh, a stupid thing in this game, where every time you reset the game, Link would hold the blue and yellow rupees out. Map, by the way. Um, you could slowly slide your way backwards through this room, and eventually just phase through the door. However, doing so took literal hours. But this is how people got low percent speedruns. Anyway, let's come in here and uh, deal with some stuff. We have to find the three Poes that remain that we haven't. Yeah, we have to find these three remaining Poes so we can light the torches, because I ain't standing here for six hours. Yeah. 
I ain't standing here for six hours staring at a rupee. Forget that nonsense. Hi. Yeah, we're got bubbles now. Let's uh, open this real quick. 20 rupees. Neat. Um, oh. This is a box. Alright, how am I meant to go through this room? Let's see. Can I grapple hook that? Nope, that's too far. Can I grapple anything? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Can I grapple that? No, I can't aim up that high. Alright, guess we're not going this way yet. Not going that way. Let's go this way instead. Is there anything over there? Oh, there is a thing over here. Um, that's sand. Um, I do believe those, um, platforms do not come back if they sink. So you want to save those for when you're coming back. Grab ourselves a piece of heart here. There we go. Easy does. Come in here. Yeah, this looks more correct. Rats! Rats! Oh, rats. So, just like the forest temple, uh, this room rotates. You may notice there's a hole here in the floor. However, we can't access the, uh... Wait a minute. I am lost in this dungeon now. Did I miss something in this other room? Hold on a sec. Hold on a second. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I remember. Okay. So, if we use our senses, we can tell that one of the pose went down here through this dirt. If we dig this dirt, we'll find this thing. And if we pull on it, it opens a hidden staircase here. There we go. Alright, down the stairs we go. This is the correct direction. And, like I said, this room rotates. No. So, now we can grab hold of this. Give it a push. Go up in this area. What the? Oh, this is a re-dead warrior, or whatever it's called, re-dead knight. Uh, this guy's gonna scream at us. And then he's gonna do this. No, you don't. Jump, 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 jump. There we go. Get rid of him. Yeah, I can't stun lock those guys. They're gonna scream no matter what. But if you react, you are able to, um, uh, get out of the way of the swing. Anyway, can we access a door here? There is a door here. Door into a round room. Okay, come in here. We got some... These guys. No, you don't. Now, you might notice these lamps look a little familiar. They're all swinging. That one is not attached to the wall. Hey, you. I see you there. Gotcha. Give me your soul. And break that lantern. We now have that second flame. It's going to go back to the... Uh, 
gonna go back to the the big room. And unfortunately, we're all out of time. Also, yeah, if you're in wolf form, Midna will open the door for you. Transform back to a human. So next time on Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we are going to venture deeper into Arbiter's Grounds and eventually find the remaining two Poes so that we can open this door again. Till then, this is N520, signing out. <laughs>